All right, welcome back. Uh, we're still at it, uh, talking about uh, the Super Eagles uh, of Nigeria and the not-too-impressive uh, friendlies we've played and, of course, a few days to the World Cup. Uh, the fans, uh, you know, just trying to see uh, what they should be expecting from the three-time African champions uh, at the Mondial. Uh, but, of course, a lot can still change. We, we agree that a lot uh, can still change uh, between now and uh, our first game at the World Cup. Uh, b before we leave the little matter of uh, the, the, the Super Eagles, mm -hmm. we, we tend to talk about the problems. Yeah. But I still feel there are solutions. Yeah. I, I, I feel there are players in that team that can make a difference, uh, that, that should be started. And for instance, we've all talked about John Ogu, the coach gave him his chance, seemed to have found his way uh, into the team, Probably not in the position that a lot of people yeah. want him to play. He was playing as a makeshift centre-back. Not really, not really uh, in the middle. Coach Gennaro is experimenting with playing three yeah. centre-backs and, and wing-backs. And if you're going to play that formation, you need players that can chase down people. And Ogene Karek Tebo comes to my mind. You know, Instantly. I don't, I don't know what has happened to Ogene Karek Tebo. Those bustling runs... You know, that we used to know him for, you know. But doing the or maybe the coach pre prefers I, I, I him as an know. offensive player. I, 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 but I, I, in I that middle, I think he goes solve the problem. I, I know that. I know that. But, but the, the major problem with the Eagles is that the players that have been playing well for us have been grossly underperforming lately. That is the problem. The likes of Ogenyo Nazi used to be a very reliable player in the defensive midfield position. He's got lots of pace and trickery, a lot of maturity, the way he handles the ball in the midfield, distribution the ball level, distribution, yeah. ball distribution. It helps the likes of Moses and, you know, uh, and as well, you will be... Remember the goal we scored against uh, uh, Cameroon? It was yeah. a Nazi, the fourth goal. It was a Nazi. Cross the ball uh, for, for Kelechi. Ihe Nacho, Kelechi. But, but those runs, we are there now. We, we've not been, they've not been able to reignite, you know, that form. And that is the problem. Key players that have been handling top departments within the team have been grossly underperforming. I don't know why. You know, you, you mentioned something about is it that they are saving the best for last or they don't want to get injured. But the players we have can make things happen. But the problem is they are not playing well at the moment. I don't know why. The likes of Aguirre and Nazi, I don't know why. Even Moses is showing that, you know, he's not really been very creative lately. He will be as well. Although during the qualifiers, he came in as sub. I don't know if the first team that is playing, being a first team player is affecting him at the moment. You know, lots of, even Mikel to an, a large extent. Mikel used to supply Igalo passes. I mean, the first goal against Cameroon came from the boots of Mikel. Okay. So what is happening to those tough players that have been doing well? Why are they all of a sudden underperforming? Are they saving the best for last? I don't know. All right. So we'll see. We'll see. Are they saving the best for last? Uh, we'll see. All right. Uh, to help us put some perspective to all of the things that we've been talking about, uh, we have a Super Eagles media officer, uh, He's going to be on the show with us. Uh, he's going to be talking to us about the Super Eagles and what's been happening uh, in the camp of the Super Eagles. Uh, if you can hear me, Tony, it's nice to have you join us tonight. Yeah, thank you so much, um, Yemi. Uh, I'm happy to be on sports tonight once again. All right. Uh, you, you can understand that um, a, a lot of people are, are, seeing, um, are perceiving all of these things as signals talking about the results of the Super Eagles of late, a, a lot of people think that there are things to worry about. But I don't know what your perspective is uh, to some of the games we've played recently. Yeah, we played our last official game, a friendly game today, against uh, the Czech Republic. And uh, we lost the game by goal to nil. Um, we didn't um, play our best. I mean, that was um, obvious for everyone to see. Um, but as I've always told people, friendly games are, as the coach will also say, uh, like a scientist in the lab, um, try a few things, see what other options you can have. And I think that's um, how we have to take this game. Uh, the boys, uh, are not happy that they didn't win because a victory would have given us some boost uh, going into the World Cup. But we see beyond the result. Um, we are trying a few things. And um, could Gano draw uh, to the press at uh, the post-match conference that in our group, uh, Iceland, Croatia, and Argentina are teams that play different patterns, different 
styles of football, different formation. Uh, and what he wants to do is to try to make his team as flexible as possible so that they can uh, match up with the demands of uh, having to change from one style to the other. So we shouldn't read too much into the results. Uh, what he wants to see, uh, how we can adapt and play many styles uh, during the World Cup. So I believe, and as he said, um, we have the next nine days to uh, put ourselves in good shape, uh, mentally, physically, uh, and uh, boost our own morale, our own confidence, and go um, into the World Cup, which is exactly what we want to do. Um, the positives that we can also pick out from the game, uh, Coach Gunnar Tross says he wants to see uh, Wilfred Ndidi. We saw him play 90 minutes today, and we saw him play at a very high level. Um, he was uh, giving as much as he was taking, uh, kicks and tackles, and uh, he came off it um, very well. So that's a good, good sign for us. Um, we are also happy that we played that game and all the players are in good shape, no worries, uh, because uh, at some point the game became very difficult. The weather was uh, very, very tough uh, to play in. It was raining heavily, uh, and such games are uh, so, uh, games where easily you could pick up knocks, uh, uh, muscle injuries and all the rest. But we are happy that our players came through it without any injuries and uh, they are good to go. We'll go back onto the pitch tomorrow. Uh, try to correct the mistakes um, that we saw from the games against